for now, we have a functioning fan. So what's going on guys, Dan here with the regular guy garage. One important modification pretty much to any Fox body is upgrading the charging system. And the reason for that being is one, because the stock, you know, charging system that these cars came with was very lackluster. I remember being a 17, 18 year old kid. And as soon as you put like a radio or something in this car, if you had the radio, the volume turned up, the lights and stuff would dim. They were very insufficient. The other reason is because your charging system can actually catch the car on fire. Now I'm not quite sure if this car has ever been on fire, but when I bought it, judging by the look on the hood, some of the charring and stuff, I'm pretty sure this vehicle was on fire at one time. And I'm willing to bet that it came from the charging system. Uh, as you can see, this plug right here completely melted, destroyed, had a hard life. So what I'm gonna do is replace this lackluster charging system with the SVE 130 amp alternator upgrade for the Fox Body Mustang. So here's everything that comes in the kit. We got the 130 amp alternator, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is just like a 94, 95 um, alternator. We have um, just some connectors, a bolt for the uh, alternator, and then a new one of these three pin connectors, which is good because ours is completely burned as you just saw. And then we got a power cable, and this is a little bit thicker than the, the stock power cable, which is, it's this one right here. Um, and I think it goes down into like a one piece or whatever. But anyway, uh, we're gonna run this all the way through the front. I got a ton of room up here because I removed the AC and stuff. So we'll run that through up over to the, uh, I believe, yeah, the starter solenoid. All right, then we have the alternator itself. Nothing really, you know, too crazy. The connections on the back are different. They're super simple to hook up. We're gonna go over that here in a little bit. The only real, I would say difficult, which is not even difficult, modification that you're gonna have to make or that we're gonna have to make to this is well you can't really see it right now but once I get this thing off uh, the alternator bracket is probably gonna have to be clearanced but it's not really a huge deal we'll just get the grinder take some material off and that thing will fit so all right so first thing we're gonna do just pop these electrical connections off all right we're gonna end up uh, cutting some of this electrical tape off of here in a little bit but for now we'll just tuck them off to the side and keep uh, getting the rest, get this all for thing that I was talking about if you can see so basically this hole will go through right here that's what that one bolt that's in the kit uh, that bolt right there that's what that um, bolt will go through there but as you can see it is hitting right there there you go now you can see if I can focus Okay, so it's hitting right there. So essentially, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna get my grinder out, and I'm pretty much just gonna take this chunk of material off right here, and we'll be good. Just kind of protecting my investment here. I got some old towels, or some dirty towels at least, just covering up, uh, you know, my electric fans, and then, you know, kind of just trying to cover up this area right here. And here we go. All right, and so there is our clearanced section of the bracket as you can see not that much material and when we put on so oh, that's too far all right so as you can see we're lined up through the hole and on this side we got more than enough clearance All right, now let's tackle this wiring. 
moving on to the wiring, what we're gonna end up doing now, <clears throat> so it took me a minute, but I just pretty much cut and unwrapped carefully all of the electrical tape that was on here. And as you can see, you have a new three pin connector for the alternator. It's the same connection as the old one, but I mean, as you can see or have seen from mine, and most of them are pretty destroyed. So we're just gonna go ahead, uh, and this is super simple, right? I'm gonna cut the green and cut the yellow, and they're gonna hook into here, green and yellow. And then your white wire is gonna attach to the stator plug, and then we'll go ahead and connect those, and then we'll move on to the power wire. All right, guys, so if you if you didn't get this four gauge cable um, with your alternator kit, what you would end up doing is cutting these two wires right here, these, the ones with the black and orange, the white wire just goes to the other connector. So, and we're gonna cut them anyway. So essentially you would cut these two and get rid of this guy. And then it gives you two other terminals. And then what you would do is you would actually uh, crimp these onto here. So crimp, the, crimp them onto here and then these would go onto this battery post right here. But since, like I said, we're gonna be adding some, uh, you know, battery, we're gonna be adding some amps and stuff. You know, we got the electric fans already. Eventually we're gonna have electric water pump, any other electronics, uh, you know, upgrade ignition system and stuff in the, you know, distant future for this car. We're just gonna go ahead and do the whole thing right. So that's why I got the four gauge cable and uh, we're gonna use this instead of this setup right here. So now we're gonna do, there's a small terminal and a big terminal on this thing. The uh, small terminal, which is the uh, longer side of the cable is gonna go over the, I'm just gonna put it here loosely so I can manipulate the cable, but that's gonna go over the uh, positive post on the alternator itself. And then, we are going to fish the rest of this, the fuse and the rest of this cable uh, around, basically follow this harness all the way, zip tying it. I'll have to take the, uh, just these two bolts out of the radiator and just kind of lean it forward a little bit. Um, follow it all the way around and then this should mount somewhere over there, somewhere over by the battery. So we got the power cable ran all the way. I ended up running it down underneath this is why the battery relocation is so important in these cars. The engine in here is not even that big, but just this battery is taking up some prime real estate. Uh, even dump, like, you know, if you're building like a drag car and stuff, I need to get to it. I need to get this thing out of here. I need to get like little stuff like this out of here. It's just taking up unneeded space. So for now, not the prettiest thing in the world. Uh, got the power cable ran to here. I'm going to zip tie the fuse uh, down here somewhere for now. I'll just zip tie it off to uh, one of these other cables and that'll be good to go. I don't think it'll get too hot down there. Um, but I guess, I guess we'll find out. Really it's all done. Uh, let me hook up these wires. So this thing can get hooked up to there. All right. So we are all hooked up, fired up, and we'll see what our bolts are at. All right, so um, the test I wanna do really quick, which I already kind of started the car, but it didn't record. So I don't know if you can see because of the glare. So we're at 12.4 battery volts. In the previous, with the previous alternator, with the stock alternator, the engine would be running and we'd be seeing like 12 and a half volts, right? And it should be much higher. All right, as you can see, we're at about 14 and a half volts, two volts higher than it was with the old, the, the stock alternator on essentially. 
All right, guys, so there you have it. Very, very easy install to do. It took me maybe an hour and a half to do it, and that's because I was filming at the same time, uh, and I even ate dinner in between. So um, super simple to put together. Uh, all I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go through, just gonna um, put some loom around, uh, you know, the exposed wires and stuff so it looks good. And I mean, that's it, super simple install. Relatively cost and effective. I mean, it wasn't cheap, but I think this is this is definitely one of those things that's way well worth the um, amount of money that you're going to pay for it. Uh, I want to say it was like 250 bucks from LMR. I'll put a link in the description uh, if you're looking for that kit. Um, anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out out there. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you don't follow me on Instagram at Regular Guy Garage, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.